U.S. announced 1.1 billion dollars arms sale to Taiwan, angering China. The Biden administration has announced a 1.1 billion dollars arms sale to Taiwan, as U.S.-China's tension escalates over its status. The sale includes 355 million dollars for Harpoon Airs to Sea missile, and 85 million dollars for Sidewinder air-to-air missile. The State Department said the largest portion of the sale is the $655 million logistics support package for Taiwan Surveillance Radar Program, which provides air defense warning. Early warning air defense systems have become more important as China has stepped up military drills near Taiwan, which is regarded as Redenan's province. The State Department said the equipment was necessary for Taiwan to maintain a sufficient self-defense capability. The administration notified Congress of the sale after close business on Friday. The administration said the deal complied with the U.S. one-China policy. It also urged Beijing to cease its military, diplomatic, and economic pressures against Taiwan, and instead engage in meaningful dialogues with Taiwan. Liu Pengyu, spokesperson for the Chinese embassy in Washington, said that the arms sales severely jeopardized China-U.S. relations and peace stabilities across the Taiwan Strait. China will resolutely take legitimate and necessary countermeasures in light with the development of the situation. Laura Rosenberg, the White House senior director for China and Taiwan, said late on Friday. That as China continues to increase pressure on Taiwan's, including through heightened military air and marine presence around Taiwan, and engage in attempt to change the status quo in the Taiwan Strait, we are providing Taiwan with what it needs to maintain its self-defense capability. The acrimony and strident heretics between the U.S. and China over Taiwan have increased sharply since the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Visited the island in August. Since Pelosi's trip to Taipei, there have been at least two other congressional visits and several by governors of U.S. states, all of which China has commended. On Thursday, Taiwan's military said it shot down a drone hovering over one of its island outposts just off the Chinese coast in an incident that underscored the high tensions. A day earlier. Taiwan has said it had warned off drones hover over three of the islands it occupied from the coast of Chinese port cities in Xiamen. China claims Taiwan as its own territory, to be angst by force if necessary. China cut off even informational contacts following the elections of the independence leaning Xi Jinping as Taiwanese president in 2016. Xi administration has pushed for a strengthening of anti-drone defenses as part of a 12.9 percent increase in the Defense Ministry annual budget next year. That would boost defense spending by an additional 1.6 billion dollars. The U.S. described Chinese drills in August as a severe overreact and respond by sailing two guided missile cruiser through the Taiwan Strait. Which China has declared to be its sovereign water. At the same time, it also demonstrates that it will help our country strengthen its overall defense capabilities and jointly maintain the security and peace of the Taiwan Strait and the Indo-Pacific region. The arms sale must be reviewed by the U.S. Congress, but both Democratic and Republican congressional aides said they did not expect opposition. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.